the formidable robots. Game Traders. It's an Australian line of retail stores specializing in video games, anime, and pretty much anything related to pop culture in general. However, an incident occurred a couple years ago that some fans are still scared of to this day. In April of 2022, posters began appearing near Game Traders stores across Australia for a supposed film being made by Game Traders themselves. They advertised a low-budget indie horror flick called, Game Traders Homicide. The posters had an ominous design, the Game Traders logo on a dark background, with an eerie silhouette of a figure holding a game controller like a weapon. Strangely, the Rouse Hill Town Center location seemed to have an especially high number of these posters plastered around. Though customers and staff were skeptical of the bizarre advertisement, most people shrugged it off as a prank. Months passed, and finally in August, the film was released on YouTube, under a fake Game Traders YouTube channel. Fans and regulars of Game Traders tuned in to see what it was all about, expecting a low-budget slasher B-movie. But as the footage unfolded, something horrifying was revealed. The opening scene was a shot of the Rouse Hill Game Traders store around 3 p.m. It looked disturbingly real, down to every detail of the store's interior. Inside, two workers were behind the counter, a boy and a girl. This might have been funny, except that these two closely resembled real-life employees who worked at that exact store location. Just five seconds into the video, a customer entered the store, looking around for about eight seconds before he approached the counter and asked the guy if he could order the PS5 on display. The guy agreed, and then, without hesitation, bashed the customer in the head with the console. Blood splattered across the display cases, and the camera lingered on the customer's head, now shattered and leaking across the floor. A sickening feeling washed over viewers as they watched the boy and the girl drag the body to the back, stuffing it into a black trash bag. Then they returned to the counter, wiping the blood off their hands. The next scene showed another customer entering, glancing at the collectibles behind the counter. He asked for a specific Funko Pop, and the guy reached for it, only to abruptly begin chucking figures at the customer, shouting mockingly. That'll be thirty dollars! The girl joined in, pelting the customer until he crumpled to the ground, shielding himself. She then pulled out an axe from beneath the counter and, without hesitation, decapitated him, leaving his headless body sprawled across the floor. The screen abruptly went black. The video ended without credits or any further explanation. Horrified viewers immediately began emailing game traders and posting about the disturbing footage. Word spread quickly, with rumors growing that this might actually be a snuff film, using deepfake technology to superimpose the faces of real employees onto the actors. Days later, game traders released a statement on social media, claiming they had no involvement in the so-called game traders homicide. They claimed that a group of former employees from EB Games, the Aussie version of GameStop, had created the film as some twisted revenge plot, using advanced technology to digitally replicate the workers' faces. They had been secretly studying this particular location and its staff for months to make the film as realistic as possible, using things like disguises and dark clothing to make sure they didn't get caught by the police. Game traders cooperated with authorities, and eventually, several suspects were arrested, though no clear motive was ever revealed. The video was promptly taken down from YouTube, and game traders urged anyone with footage of it to delete it. Despite the investigation, no copies have ever resurfaced, and any mention of game traders' homicide has since faded into obscurity, dismissed as another internet legend. But anyone who saw the footage still remembers the horrifyingly realistic details.